to look beautiful guys and girls we are here with another video in today's video we speak about um, 10 uncomfortable signs 10 uncomfortable situations life situations that you are gonna experience if you are an old soul okay 10 super uh, especially in the beginning that you don't know thyself uh, uh, that you're not familiar with your soul, that you're, you're not familiar with meditation, with uh, learning thyself in a deeper level. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's a life journey. Okay, but now with the information that uh, I'm gonna share with you in this video, now you have exactly what you need to, to navigate through those life experiences easier. Okay, the first sign is. Um, that you are the black sheep of the family, okay? Now, old souls can build deep relationships, okay? They have the ability to connect in a deeper level with every human being, but also they have the, the, the great ability, their third eye is open, okay? And uh, they, they, have, they also have the ability to deeply see into the core issues of the other person. And uh, of course, all souls, uh, all souls are all about truth. And uh, of course, they will show you that uh, hey, those are your issues. And uh, uh, even if that means that uh, it's going to reveal an uncomfortable part of your personality, of, of the unconscious. Okay, so on the first hand, they connect deeply. But as long as there are blocks, they can see them. Okay, and uh, this makes them really, really, really. Uh, I mean, the black ships, even on schools, um, even later on on the journey, because you know m most people can't face themselves. Uh, they they the thing is to judge you back. Okay. Uh, what are you blah, 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 this, 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 that, that, but never go inside, okay? A small percentage of the people though will, will go inside and take uh, responsibility, okay? So, in other words, uh, uh, this ends up, because the human being nowadays is running away from his other side, from itself, this ends up to being the black sheep, okay? The number two sign is um, that uh, it's it's not only happening on the family, or uh, you know, it, it's happening general in the life. It's not happening only the family, maybe in the jobs or the schools and stuff like that. It's happening general in society because old soul doesn't fit into those society standards actually this society is sick it's traumatized everybody needs healing everybody needs time people need to do their iron works and of course uh, old souls don't fit fit into those uh, uh, paradigms okay and um, they, they don't fit into this materialism uh, career status uh, they don't fit into those boxes okay they are much bigger and of course um, uh, th th this uh, uh, th because they are free thinkers free spirits th this uh, uh, makes them a bit um, how do you say it uh, uh, th they are they are rebe rebellions how it's called in English they are uh, they can fit in and if this is happening in your life you're not supposed to fit in you, you never you never were supposed to fit in all you are doing during your journey is you are walking the matrix okay you are becoming the matrix in order later on after your uh, uh, your spiritual awakening after a shift in consciousness you can hack it okay so another sign is uh, oh my god you're gonna face this a lot you, you are gonna get misunderstood and uh labeled a lot and this is super uncomfortable okay 
de Glucolunatec, uh, you know, uh, I hope, uh, they will call you names, stuff, they will laugh at you, they will throw shit at you. Um, uh, I, I mean, uh, It's it's uh, super uncomfortable because everybody is watching you through her past, through his or her past. It's everybody is filtering you through their past, and uh, that's of that of course is a label. It's not you, and um, this um, is super uncomfortable, especially in the beginning. Okay. Um, One good um, thing uh, you have to realize in this situation is uh, that um, how other people are going to treat you is their consciousness level. It has nothing to do with you, okay? You play a very small part. So, you can control that, okay? It's their consciousness level, how they view their world and what is going on in their lives at that moment, their belief systems. Okay, You can't control that. So this will set you free when you are facing uh, these situations, okay? It's their consciousness level, okay? In the beginning, you might be getting mad, oh, this, not that, uh, oh, you, you might fight, think of fights, you know, this ego is really funny sometimes. Uh, but uh, later on, as you get wiser and wiser, you, and you learn your lessons, uh, it's gonna be easier to face, uh, you know, this uh, judgment another sign is um, you speak a different language oh my god oh my god story of my life <laughs> oh my god you get into conversations and um, you're just different you speak a different language I don't know how to describe that You have different beliefs. It's um, yeah, you might be speaking English, but uh, uh, <laughs> your language is not limited inside the box. Even when you're talking about love, even you, uh, when you're talking about uh, this human experience, uh, even you, when you are talking about numbers, uh, even i- when you are talking about time. Oh my God! You speak a little darn different language, and uh, when when you get into um, social interactions, maybe friendships, maybe uh, I don't know, when you have a communication with someone for one reason or another, the universe <laughs> brings you close to each other. Eh? You you can't express yourself. You have to limit everything. Okay, and. Um, I mean, it's uncomfortable. It, it, it's a uh, it's struggle to express yourself because sometimes you just know it's a different language. Oh my God, this is the story of my life, guys. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable. Uh, but uh, eventually, as you move forward in life, eventually, You'll get used to that. Another sign. Oh my God, you, you uh, you're gonna experience a lot of uh, existential crisis. Okay, and uh, this can result to depression, to anxiety, to stress. Uh, um, especially when you, when you realize. I don't, I don't know how you're gonna come to this realization in your journey, but. Uh, It, the moment you understand how limited is uh, this 3D world and um, the moment you understand that everything is temporary and uh, 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 everything is a vessel and uh, th- th- this can be really uh, an uncomfortable uh, part of your journey, if you haven't practiced uh, self-love, if, if you haven't learned about meditation, uh, if uh, um, 
you are not uh, connected deep with this, with uh, your spirit guides, you, with your true essence. And uh, well, of course, uh, on the other side, there is self-destructive behavior. You might begin to suicide, you know, suicide, suicidal thoughts. Uh, uh, what am I doing here? And then, then, then. Of course, this changes when you have this sign of understanding. When, when you know thyself. When you love yourself. When, when you have self yeah when you have cultivated self value okay and uh this is um, a really uncomfortable part because during your uh, journey on uh, uh this planet earth you, you're gonna experience a lot of this you're gonna experience a lot of this okay but uh don't worry don't worry you're being divinely guided just live your life live your life listen to your intu intuition and Dive deep into the unknown and get interactive with this life. Oh my god. Another sign is that um, you are becoming uh, emotionally and uh, uh, mentally drained. Okay, the information uh, that is coming um, in your life is uh, seriously, especially after your third eye. After the, the moment your third eye is open and uh, after that, uh, the, the information is really sometimes um, too much overwhelming, it's too much, it's just too much and uh, of course this can, um, I mean, uh, uh, lead to mental fatigue, to, you know, to, to, to wanna share with other people, but uh, as I said before, you speak a different language. Oh my God! Oh, then isolation, then loneliness, then then then. Of course, all this is a necessary part, so you can connect with your essence, so you can ascend to the fifth dimension. Okay, don't worry about that. Don't worry. Leave the experience, kids. It's uh, necessary for your ego death. Of course, uh, emotionally, you are, you can tap into the emotions of other people, and uh, when you are a powerful empath, most all, most all souls are. People um, throw their set on you, okay, and of course, uh, you have to learn to set boundaries, to take breaks, to um, take time for yourself, uh, you know, rejuvenate, uh, recharge, and. Um, Yeah, this can drain you a lot, so you have to set your boundaries and, of course, practice self-love and uh, self-care and, and uh, recharge your boundaries. Uh, oh, th this is another sign. After you you move in your spiritual awakening journey and uh, after you ascend if, or if you get a glimpse of the fifth dimension, if uh, one good uh, example to describe the third dimension is, uh, uh, if there is a movie, you are, you are playing in the movie. Okay, you are playing in the movie. You are you are the actor in the movie. The fourth dimension, you you are the observer of the movie. You are watching the movie outside the movie, and in the fifth dimension. You're the producer of the movie. Okay. And uh, of course, uh, uh, when you see life from limitless angles and uh, uh, when, you, when your whole entire world is changing right in front of your eyes and you realize that uh, you have perceived everything so wrong in this matrix programming, oh my god. Um, of course, um, I, I know that happened in a moment in my life, it comes naturally, okay, uh, but uh, it can be really uncomfortable, it can be really uncomfortable if um, you have a different journey, and uh, of course you can't share any of that with other people, okay, um, and uh, you understand that you can't simply judge other people. You can't judge because every thought that you speak out matters. And um, you realize that uh, you become a conscious creator of your life. And of course, uh, 
uh, you create the ghost and oh my god there is uh, of course a much more free life but at the same time greater responsibilities uh, um, uh, your thoughts are becoming powerful and uh, if you have a false thought in your mind that if you speak it out of course uh, the pain is coming back into your door fast and of course this is super uncomfortable and uh, the possibilities are um, infinite everything is possible in the third dimension as you wake up to this um, stage of your spiritual awakening and to this world and of course uh, the last uncomfortable sign is that uh, you're gonna go home okay this world I don't know, you feel like an alien. <laughs> oh my god. And uh, you can't really believe how the human space, the human species, can be so um, arrogant, ignorant, and uh, foolish to kill each other, to judge each other. But, you know how this chaos why why isn't everybody united why do we have to pay to live and you, you make these uh, questions and uh, of course then uh, you realize the matrix and you realize uh, how the human being uh, is a slave at this moment on the planet and uh, how they control it okay and um, this um, I mean, this awareness and uh, this realization uh, in some way calms you down and uh, I mean, uh, I don't know, gives you a breath for a moment, but you, 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 you want to find a place where you belong uh, uh, with freedom, with uh, liberation and uh, yeah, this is uh, the search of an old soul. This, the, the journey of going back home oh my god and yes th those are the uncomfortable signs this is the view for today if you like the video share the message subscribe to the channel support the channel and this is some old soul biceps <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys love you all see ya in the next video